Hello, Dougal. Is that you? Hi. I'm just calling to let you know that we received your first set of samples and we're on our way to get some orders. Tell him it's very nice. Barry said it's very nice. Hey, Dougal. He said it's very nice. I ain't telling him it's very nice. Dougal says it is very nice. Dougal says it is very nice. <laughs> Sorry, me. What was that? <laughs> These things happen. Anyway, everything's fine at this end and we'll soon have lots of orders for you. Talk to you later. Bye. So how are they doing? Great. They're really looking forward to getting the orders. I can see it now. With their expert weaving and my expert salesmanship, soon everyone will be wearing the Clan McChuckle Tartan south of the border. South of the border? Are we only making trousers now, then? Not south of the border. South of the Scottish border. Scottish border? Are we taking in lodges as well? Never mind. Come on, we've got some cloth to sell. Weave cloth, do you get it? <laughs> <sighs> now, we've got to start off on a professional footing. Right. Where are you going? There's a shoe shop round the corner. I'm going to get some professional footings. Not those kind of footings. Sometimes I really wonder about you. I wonder about me sometimes as well. We need to get some cards printed. But how are we going to do that? We've been banned from the printers. Ah, I've thought about that. We'll use one of those print-it-yourself machines. There's one in the card shop down the high street. And you know what they say? There's no time like the present. Present? Who was the present for, Paul? Oh? Oh, before I forget, remind me to buy a Get Well card for Auntie Doris. She's not been feeling too well. Hey, Paul. What? Don't forget to buy a Get Well card for Auntie Doris. Oh, thanks for reminding me. I won't. Right. Let's have a look. Oh, that'll do. Can I read it? Yes. Sad to hear from Cousin Harry that you're ill, signed Paul and Barry. That's a nice poem. It is, isn't it? We'll pay for this on the way out. Now, where's that machine? Instructions. Insert coin. And it... Select card. Print your message. Now, can I have a go? No, you can't. This is important. We've got to present the right image. Fifty cards will be delivered in ten seconds. Stupid thing. Oh, here we are. Buckle Chothers, Ball and Parry. Oh, dear. Never mind. Whoever we give it to will get the idea. How many cards are we supposed to get? Fifty. Whoa. Better go and pay for this card and get out of here. Hey, Paul. I found this mug with my name on it. Can I have it? No. I need some money to pay for this. Now put that back. Organize him. Pardon? I'm going to give him the spiel. It's my new chuckle approach to salesmanship. Good morning. Good morning. No matter how bad your day is starting, you're sure to look good in that chuckle tartan. Pardon? For granted. If you feel you're kilting, Wilton, try our cloth, the stiffness built in. Who exactly are you? Paul and Barry Chuckle. We are the southern representatives of the McChuckle Woolen Mills, purveyors of fine highland cloth to the tailing industry. What you've just heard is the start of a high-profile advertising campaign aimed at the well-dressed man about town. I don't want any. Go away. Bye, then. <laughs> oh, but you do. Soon every high-class tailor in the area will be after our cloth. Will they, indeed? Well, not yet. You're the first one on our list. <laughs> My colleague is correct. 
But I'm sure as word gets around, everybody will be after our material. Here, can I show you a sample? Uh, the wool comes from our very own sheep and is dyed using natural dyes and pure Highland water. It says here. It's very exclusive. It is. Your very own sheep. How many have you got? Just the one. One? But he's a fluffy little devil. Yes, he is right. We do only have one sheep in the flock at the moment. And his name's Angus. But we are expanding. We're giving him more to eat. You can't get very much wool from one sheep. Which is why the cloth is so exclusive. In fact, it's so exclusive, nobody's got any yet. Which is why we're here, to offer you first refusal. I'll take it. Well, the cloth? No, the refusal. Out. Well, that's that then. Where to now? What are you doing? Crossing his name off the list. Why? He didn't want any. Ah, but he does. He only thinks he doesn't. This calls for some serious planning. Why don't we just go to another shop? What, and admit defeat at the first attempt? Never. I've got an idea. Oh, no. We've got to create a demand. Can I help you, sir? Ah, I'm looking for a new suit. Very good. Do you have anything special in mind? Yes, it must have sleeves in the jacket and legs in the trousers and things. But I'm looking for an exclusive material. All our materials are exclusive, sir. Yes, this must be very, very exclusive material. It's the McChuckle Tartan. Is it now? And I don't suppose you know where I can get hold of any of this McChuckle Tartan, do you? It just so happens I do. I'm I thought so. It's you. It's not. Can't you take no for an answer? Where's the other idiot? Aha! And I suppose you're looking for an exclusive cloth as well. As it happens, yes. I thought so. Ah! I'm terribly sorry, sir. Hello. I'd like a new suit making, please, from the exclusive McChuckle Tartan. Please forgive me. Out! Oh dear. Oh dear, oh dear. Now we're in trouble. That man was a customer. Let's face it, that tailor's not going to buy our cloth now, is he? Oh well, never mind. Let's go home. I suppose so. Oh, hang on. Hang on. I've had an idea. Oh no. A double double. do you want now? Haven't you caused me enough trouble as it is? That's why we've come back. I'd like to apologise for the little fracker. I'll apologise for myself if you don't mind. And we'd like to make it up to you. How on earth do you think you can do that? Well, we've seen that you're short-staffed and we thought we'd volunteer our help. You? What do you know about tailoring? Ah, our granddad used to work in Savile Row. Savile Row, London? Home of the most famous tailors in the world? No, Savile Row rather, next to the fish market. He started off as a button sewer's mate and worked his way up to zips. But he did make some fine suits. Single-breasted, double-breasted, triple-breasted. There's no such thing as triple-breasted. It never caught on. But he did teach us an awful lot about tailoring. What do you say? I say, what do you want in return? All we want is a chance to make up our own jackets and our own material, display it in your shop, and you'll see how well it catches on. All right, I'll give you both a day's trial. I'm so short-staffed, I don't know whether I'm coming or going. If it's any help, you're standing still at the moment. But you're to leave all the customers to me. We get some very important people in here, and I don't want any of them upset. Understood? Understood. Understood? Pardon? I can't help thinking I've made a dreadful mistake. <laughs> We're in. I saw very well, but we haven't got any cloth. Not at the moment. Uh, we're just popping out to make a phone call. Back in a minute. Oh, no. It won't take cash. Have you got a card? Ace of spades. That'll do. Who are you calling? Dougal and Douglas. We need some more material quickly. Is that you? Hello, Dougal. We need some more cloth, fast. Thanks very much. That was quick. Billy, to me, steady then, to me. Right. To me, to me. You. You'll be careful what you're doing with that top end up there. Right. To me, to me, to me. Steady, 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 steady. Round here, round here, round here. Right. Round here. Oh. Turn around, turn around, turn around, turn around. To me. Turn around. Hold it. To me. Look, let me have that end. You have this end. Right. That's it. That's the one. Right. That's it. Now, through here. To me. Through here, then. To me. Through here. 
Oh, what am I? Oh, oh, beg pardon. Will you be careful? Now listen, I've got some paperwork to take care of in the office. I want you two to tidy the place up a bit and let me know if anybody comes in. Will do. You can rely on us. Oh, can borrow your tape measure? Hey, it's a bit long, isn't it? Must be set for trousers. Hang on. How's that? Much better. <laughs> Come on, and bring that, and be careful you don't knock anything over. <laughs> this is the chance we've been waiting for, Barry. Is it? Of course it is. You mean that idea of yours about sneaking the jacket onto the dummy? Yes, then somebody's bound to see it, come in and buy it. That'll create a demand. What about the manager? Won't he mind? No, he's far too busy. Besides, we're doing nothing wrong. We're only making our own jacket. He'll appreciate in the end. Now, come on, let's get some cutting done. Right. Yeah. I'll go down to that end. You slide the cloth along to me. Right. When I tell you... Oh. Now. To you. That's it. Now, unroll it. To you. To me. 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 That'll do, that'll do, that'll do. Right. right. Now then, chalk. Chalk. Silly me. Why? We haven't got a pattern. I've got an idea. What? Why don't you lie down on it and I'll draw around you? Good idea. Here. Hang on. Oh. 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 There. Hang on. There. There. Right. Chalk away. Right. Oh dear. What's up? I can't reach round the other side. I've got an idea. You lie on there and I'll do this side. Right. <laughs> there you go. There, that's it. Stay there now. Don't move. Don't move. There. Done. Up you get. <laughs> Great. I'll go and get the scissors and we'll cut it out. Right. It's Dougal. <laughs> now to cut him out. <laughs> Something not quite right. Nothing like the pictures. I tell you what, we're going to have to make some alterations. You mark it and I'll tell you where to. Right. Left lapel. How's that? Brilliant. Now the other one and then the line down the middle. I've done the right lapel, then what did you say? A line down the middle. Right. Brush. You must be complete morons. Nice of you to say so. Sharp. Ooh, that was close. Come on, let's get the jacket finished. That'll surprise him. Yeah, it'll impress him as well. It will. Excuse me, sir. We've got one or two staff problems. Now look what you've done. Don't blame me. Well, you were doing the measuring. And you were doing the cutting. Well, I was obviously cutting in metric while you were measuring in feet and inches. What's going on? What is that? Uh, you tell him, Barry. It's Braveheart from the Chuckle Collection. I've had enough. Get it out of my window. And while you're about it, get yourself out of my shop. I've got a reputation to consider. Out! Well, we're not going to take that lying down. Well, what can we do? We're going to get back in there before you lose our nerve. Besides, we've left our sample book inside, and we'll need that.
sample book. I've decided to give you one more chance. I'm looking for a jacket. Where did you leave it? I mean, I want to buy one, and I'm in a hurry. Size 40, regular. So would one of you mind assisting me? Yes, but we're not assisting... Uh, assisting anyone at the moment. We'd be delighted to help you, sir. Shh, we don't want the manager to hear us, do we? Um, how about this one, sir? This looks like your size. There you are, try that on. What are you doing? We want him out of here without a fuss. <laughs> how about that, sir? Oh, well, this is fine, except the sleeves are a little short. Oh, there's no problem with that. They just need a bit of adjusting. Barry? <laughs> oh, dear. Oh. Look what you've done! Call yourselves outfitters! Right, this time I'm definitely going somewhere where they know what they're doing. Where's my jacket? What? You've given me my own jacket! Where's the manager? I demand to see the manager! Artisford, delighted to see you back. What seems to be the trouble, sir? I came in here to buy a jacket, and these... <laughs> and about time, too, if you don't mind me saying so, sir. <laughs> I think it's funny, do you? <laughs> Let's see how you like it. And I'd do the same to the other two if I could find them. Other two? Just a minute. Excellent. Just what I'm looking for, for my Scottish holiday. I'll take four. You don't want that. I do. It's horrible. Try something else. Oh, I like it. It's a jackal tartan, and it's very exclusive. Right. If I don't get four jackets made up from this very material by this time tomorrow morning, I shall be informing your head office. Right, sir. Leave it to me. I'll see to it. You better. Now, where have those two got to? Four jackets he wants, and four jackets he's going to get. Here, I can. 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 Here, I can.